Okay, now we're recording. So now, good morning, everybody, officially. And um, today is Wednesday, and we're going to talk. Uh, we're going to do some brainstorming about how we can book parties from parties. And if you think about it, let's say we don't book any parties from the from any parties from the party that we just did. Let's say we we book four parties, we lose one, which means we hold three, um, which is be kind of classic, right? But from each party, we book zero. How many parties do we have left? <laughs> zero. Let's say we hold the three parties. We book one party from each one. How many parties do we have? Two. We got three, right? And then we might, we might lose one. We might not. And then we book one party from each of those. And then we're down to two. We book, you know, so... But what happens if we book two from each party? We up our chances, don't we? So let's say we have four parties, we lose one, we're down to three parties, but we book two at each of those three parties. Now we have six. Let's say we lose one, but we hold five and we book two more parties. Now we have 10. And so you can see how placing that extra focus on booking parties from parties makes such a difference to our party calendar. I don't know about you, but I don't love that feeling of looking at an empty calendar and wondering where my next set of parties is going to come from. Many of the most successful people in our company have learned how to book parties from parties on a pretty regular basis. It's not always a sure fire way, you know, it's not always sure fire, but there are some things that we can do systematically to up our chances of getting those two plus parties, of, um, of getting the guests interested, of getting enough guests there, of getting guests interested in booking and also doing good, good follow-up so that we can um, scoop up any remaining interested people. So let's make a um, sort of a list of the kinds of things that maybe you've done in the past that have worked um, while you've been booking part, while you've been executing a party um, from soup to nuts and booking parties from that. What's worked? Uh, Jody, I'm sorry, you're, you're muted. <laughs> Are you talking to us, Jody? Okay. I am. Okay, good. Um, when I've done, and what I usually do is, um, I reach out to the hostess and I ask her who loves jewelry, who loves to, um, you know, party, that sort of a thing. So then my, when I have the, the party, then I will, that would be the person or persons that I would get, you know, plant the seeds or make, have them be the uh, model, you know, that sort of a thing. So that's worked for me. I don't know if anybody's done it, but um, that way you're not sitting there kind of second guessing because, or wondering, because, you know, we can't judge unless you know, you, you don't like, you know, this person you look and you're like, oh, she looks like she's fun and stuff like that. But then she, that'd be the farthest thing from her mind, mm -hmm. but it might be that person who is, you know, the quieter one and your hostess said, oh yeah, Sally. Oh my God. Yes. You, you know, and then ask your hostess to help you as kind of like back up with the positive things about what you get and all that kind of stuff. So work mm -hmm. more with your hostess with the customers that are coming with, you know what I mean? If it makes sense. Yep, makes a lot of sense. I love that. So you're using the hostess to give you the intel so you can cut to the chase a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I love that idea. And I've kind of forgotten about that. It's a little bit yeah. like asking for referrals, which I don't I don't love to do, but it's more specific and more targeted. So but if you tell the hostess, Betsy, like yeah. what she gets, she gets a 70% off of mm -hmm. when she goes to her party or she, or she can order it, that seems to work. And to me, that's you know, yeah, it is kind of like what you said, but it's also she she gets something out of it by helping you, or she'll already, you know, automatically be already that's her plan to do it anyway. You know, mm -hmm. so. right? But it gets her thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I actually had an idea yesterday. Uh, I was on a call with the home office working on some fun things for spring, and I said, you know, if our number one goal is to book two parties from par from every party we want to incentivize the hostess to that, not just one, but to two. And, um, you know, and I got to thinking, well, 
okay, I'm a business owner. If, if we as a company haven't developed something quite like that, you know, we do have the great BFF coupon, which is just fantastic. But if I want to focus on two, what could I do to get my hostess to that? To be thinking like that? Is it, is it um, spending some money on, I mean, what's it worth to me? And that's something that everybody would have to decide. And maybe what's it worth to me to do it for one month for each of my hostesses in a month to say, get me two parties and I will give you this. I mean, and I was thinking a little too grandly this morning about Swarovski sunglasses. You can get them for about $55 on Nordstrom Rack. And they're worth over $200. And so I thought, well, what if for my next four parties, I dangle those, some Swarovski sunglasses in front of my hostesses in an attempt to get eight more parties on my calendar and they can't have them until the parties happen, right? But I mean, that's kind of worth it to me to be able to do two parties that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. And, um, and you know, it wouldn't have to be a long-term thing. But anyway, that's, I got to thinking about that last night. If that's truly my goal, how am I placing, how am I sharing that with my hostess and rewarding her for helping me get to that? So along, along those lines, Jody, with what you're saying, incentivizing mm -hmm. her to tell me who she thinks they're going to be, mm -hmm. because now there's really something in it for her. And I, and again, and it, it could just be a stretch bracelet. And again, it's a focuser for her. Oh, if I, if I help her book too, I get a stretch bracelet or I get a, you know, whatever. Right. Mm whatever invitation to dinner at your house, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, so that was, that kind of dovetails with what you're saying, Jody. What else, what else has worked for you in booking parties from parties? Make sure at the end, when you're checking your customers out, you know, we, this is something we had talked about mm -hmm. in the last, I just, I just remember, you know, this on training and stuff that, you know, ask everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't know. You can't just assume. And I think, I don't know if it was you or if it was Cheryl, you know, that person that's way, way back, you know, way sitting way back in the room and didn't say a word might be that one and just say, well, you didn't ask, you know, that sort of thing. So you got to ask everybody. Yeah, I've had that. And sometimes they're thinking, how can I possibly afford everything I want? And they're, it's going through their brain, how they're going to figure this out. Mm -hmm. But we have no way of knowing it unless we say something. That's a really good point. What kinds of what kinds of words do you use, Jody, when you're checking people out and you're offering a party? Um, what I do is, is like when you know sometimes I you know, either they don't remember that they get that um, half off item if you spend a hundred stuff. So I try to kind of like upsell <laughs> some, you know, and especially I take advantage of that when they're not doing that and I say you know and I'll just you know, recommend, Hey, you got the, you know, you got this bracelet and you got the necklace, but you know, these earrings, the earrings, we have a pair that matches them, you know, kind of like that upsell, but, um, when it comes to that part of the checkout and then, um, my, I used to, you know, I used to be afraid to say things, but what I'll, I'll come right out and tell them, you know, just say, how would you like, you know, the, actually the other thing is, is make sure they can do wish lists. Make sure, you know, when you're talking, I would have your, them do wish list because when they bring it to you, that is a key thing right there where you can say, oh, well, you this and this, you know, on here and then just, you know, and just come right out and, and just say, you know, I, I, you can actually get this for free. You can actually earn this for free by hosting your own girls night. Okay. And, you know, and so you don't have to have a wish list anymore. You can get all this, especially like this month, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah do I do that all the time no but and it's and whatever but that that actually does work because you know if you say no like you said no not now but it may it may that may be down the road or it's no not not ever I've I've when you know when you see the when you get those forms and they say they're not interested you know you they check mark that they're not interested but I ask and um, mm -hmm. just come right out and, and ask. And a lot of times my hostesses will back that up when, you know, they're there about, yeah, you've got to do oh, that. That's all true. Free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me piggyback on Jody a little bit. Um, I, 
I do the same thing at checkout. You know, I mean, you're always dropping those seeds during your presentation and showing different things as you go along. But at checkout, um, I love looking at their wish list you know, and doing the same thing, saying, oh my goodness, your wish list is so awesome. It's from year to kingdom come. Do you realize that you probably can get this all free if you book a party? And I think, oh yeah, okay, let me, let, let me think about it. And I go, well, I've got something special for everybody. And I have, do you know those little things that you can put like pictures in? There is like a little, cir there's circles and you can stick your pictures on them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 I don't looks know. Like a, called. Like a, looks like a spring. Yeah. Okay. So what I do with that is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that right okay. Is. Okay. So what I do Thank is you, Amy. I want to control my calendar right along with this because we have certain days we want to work on certain days we don't. What I do on that is I, I'll tell them and say, well, look, you know, and they go, yeah, I might, I might want to. So I'll say, well, look, these are all my special dates. Mm -hmm. And behind those dates is something that you will get when you book your party and it reaches 600 to a thousand dollars. So they'll look at it. Now that is controlling my calendar and mm -hmm. I'm getting two parties booked on the dates that I want. Them. Mm -hmm. And when they look at that and they go, Oh, okay, well, and I don't put down Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, I just put the date, you know, I'll put down the date, you know, February 15th, February 18th, whatever. And they'll, when they pick that, I'll go, okay, do you want to see what's behind your date? And they'll go and they go, oh my goodness. What I have done is at all of my in-person parties that I do myself, I'll take my hostess rewards and I'll get um, our ice bracelets. So when my hostess reaches the $600 to $1,000, behind those dates is either a stretch bracelet and if they pick a really special date, they're going to earn the ice bracelet, okay? What I tell them is in order for you to get this ice bracelet, this is what we need to do. We need to try really hard. Now, I'm your partner. We're partners in crime here. I'm doing this for you. I want you to get everything on this wish list. Yes. Let's do it this way. Get $600 to $1,000. So let's get two parties booked. One party before I even walk in the door. And this is yours. One before I even walk in your door mm -hmm. to get, you know, to help you do all this. Let's see what we can do. If you need my help, I'd be more than happy to help you contact out your best friend or whatever. So when you give, when you give them things to do, mm -hmm. they're going to do it, especially so when you're dangling that ice bracelet. In front so of sort, them, of like, you know? sort of like what we're trying to do when we're incentivizing for getting three orders or something like that prior to the party happening. And we're also incentivizing for getting a booking before the party happens. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And this works for Got me it. all the time, all mm -hmm. the time. Let's do, let's do this. Let's, let me give you a little, a little homework to do. Let's get mm -hmm. three, let's get three orders and one booking mm -hmm. before I even walk in your door. Let's mm -hmm. see what that three bookings go. is going to get okay. you even closer Right. to that thousand dollar which is going to give you six hundred dollars in free jewelry which is going to take care of your wish list yeah right i love i love that I, and just mm -hmm. bundling those here's here's your here's your fun thing to think about before your party even happens exactly. because you're going to get more i have a, i have a question can we go back to the the checkout so let's say we're not in person or, or we're not on the phone what if it's an order that just sort of comes in uh, electronically and lands in our inbox and she has already placed that order. We've never met her. Um, and it's on somebody's party. How are we going to approach her about booking her own party? I would, I would call a person. You know me, I'm going to get on the phone. I'm not going to text. I'm too. not going to email. I'm going to call her. And, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to okay. say, Patsy, thank you so much for helping Jody reach her, her goal in her party. And I was looking at what you ordered. You've ordered all of my most favorite things in the catalog. But I'm also looking at the fact that I don't know what your wish list was. Did you get everything on your wish list? And if she says, oh, no, I didn't, you know, it's so long. Say, well, you know, I do have a way that I can help you get everything you have on that wish list if you have the time to listen. And then I would just tell them a little bit about, about the, um, 
what the special is and what she can get. And then I might throw at her, well, you know, I mean, you can get to $600. When is your birthday? And she might tell me, oh, it's, you know, April, blah, blah, blah. So how would you, how would you feel if I were to tell you, you can have anything you want up to a hundred dollars for $4. That's your birthday month. Mm -hmm. How would you feel about that? And not only that, but you're helping your hostess get a 70% off item of her mm -hmm. choice. And then if you can get so many books, you'll do that too. I, you know, right. you just, it's just out there okay. talking. Great. You know, I mean, you don't want to, to me, if I have to text all that, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. That's too no. much. Sure. And then I have to go back and see if I spelled everything right. I ain't going to do that either. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'd rather call, I'd rather just call, you know, mm -hmm. and, and if Got you it. use it as a customer service and mm -hmm. making it about her and thanking mm -hmm. her and letting her know what she did, <clears throat> I mean, that that's where it's all at. It really yeah. is, you know, right. and you can offer Zoom, <clears throat> I hate to say Facebook, but Facebook, Zoom, or in home if she lives in the area. If she doesn't, mm -hmm. you have two more things that she can do. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. See, I call like Debbie does any um, orders that I get from anybody that's through their um, outside orders. Mm -hmm. I will call them. I thank them for the order. I ask them if they want to book a party from whoever the host is. I tell them about the um, sale of the month. I tell them all about the BFF, um, anything to see if I can get them to book a party for the host to get the credit. Get a rise Here's something there. else you can do too. That individual, if for some reason when you've talked to her and you've never met her and she says, oh yeah, I want to do a party and I want it on such and such a date. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, once you got that, you get all the information. I instantly write a thank you note and put a little charm in it and I mail it to her just as a little thank you for allowing me to talk to you, listening to me or whatever you want to say. And just, okay. and then writing and also in there putting down the date, the time, and that a hostess packet's going to be coming in the mail. Look for it in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. That's all. I mean, because that's who doesn't like to get stuff in the mail. I know I do. And I can't wait to get stuff in the mail. I actually started sending um, a cup of coffee by email to my host right after she books with me. Cup of coffee? I mean, actual mm -hmm. coffee? Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Yeah, like a Starbucks or a Dunkin'. Oh, uh, okay. Little gift gift card, and it'll say thanks a latte, you know, on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So oh, it cost me, you know, five or six dollars. But then, you know, it has the date of her party and all that. And you know, it occurs to me that what I ought to do on that message is share with her what she will get when she gets those orders and those bookings before the party even happens. Mm -hmm. that, that's a good place for me to actually kick that off with her because now she's like oh happy because i've sent her a coffee and that's and and if i can tie that in mentally with go get three orders and get a party booking and you'll get a stretch or something whatever for me um, or whatever my incentive turns out to be for getting me two bookings then mm -hmm. you know, that, that might be a good place for me to put that so i'm just thinking out loud what about How do you do that bet betsy like, how do you send a gift card? I mean, I know how to go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a gift card. Is that what you do and send that in the, um, in the mail or do you electronically? It's electronic. It? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can do, you can do both electric. You can do Starbucks and Dunkin' electronically. I have a different service, a different system. Um, and uh, I had Dunkin' Donuts here. Right. So you have Dunkin' there. Like, I'm trying to think. Jody, did you get, you got one from me in the, by email, right? Okay. Yes. And so it came, um, like it has the, my logo. I, I use a company called thanks T H N K S. If okay. any of you want to see what it is, um, I can put you in my account and you can just use it and just pay as you go. Okay. Um, because it's already branded and there are all these different options, but I've sort of glommed on to a couple of simple ones that I'm using for sales recognition, um, but I'm also using it for um, new sponsors, new consultants and their sponsors, but I'm also using it for my hostesses now 
to send um, a thank you for booking a party with me on this date. Um, so okay. if any of you want to know more about it, just message me later and I'll I'll, I'll show you the platform. It's it's okay. actually incredibly. Do you text that or do you email it? I email it. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't, if you don't, if if the part like myself, I um, I didn't pick it up right away. They'll mm -hmm. send you a follow up. So I think that's a good thing because then that'll get the hostess. You know, we're talking that um, to, you know, do that and then a nice incentive to um, help with getting those bookings and stuff. Right. Okay. But a, a card would that. work too, right? Because you're going to you're going to send them a hostess yeah. packet anyway. So yep. just throw a real card in there. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Yes. I, I love like that. I like sending them a thank you before I send them the hostess packet. Okay. Good. That's okay. what I like to do. That's great. Yeah. That is a good All idea. So I put my thank you in with my hostess packet. Mm -hmm. And I, I do that too. I do yeah. that too. Just a little right. note. I'll be calling you in, in you know forty eight to seventy two hours to go yeah. over the the hostess packet. Thank you again. You know. Mm -hmm. um, but what if in that thank you, it's be sure you get three orders and a party booked before. That's right. You know, so again, highlighting our, our key, right. mm -hmm. what we really yep. care about bringing, you know, not hide, we don't bury the lead, right? Let's, let's put the headline out there constantly of what we're trying to incentivize them to do. Yep. And it, I really, love and it really does work. It really does yeah. work that the party mm -hmm. that I had to, we did it and I have to redo it. When I walked in the door, she already had, cause I told her, so let's get a party booked and let's get, bye Jody. Let's bye, see you later. Jody. Bye. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. I said, let's get a party book and let's get some orders. And and she was all excited because she already had the three orders and they were like, I think they were like 300 and something dollars. So she mm -hmm. was well on her way. Mm -hmm. And that day she had a booking, but the lady didn't show up. So I need, I'm in the process of trying to get in touch with her. So she did do what she needed to do. That's great. So it, it, it does work. You know, it's just, yeah, you know, partnering with her from the beginning about those priorities. Okay. So what about booking games? I don't Some know, people do play them the with incredible game. success. I don't I do the box them. game. And, you, and Kathy it. does the box game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. I get a lot of bookings from it. Great. Even though both of my parties were low this weekend, uh -huh. um, I got a booking from both of them. Good. So, I mean, even though attendance are low, Good. the um, totals are low right now. So I've got a booking from um, Saturday's party and I got a booking from Sunday's party. That's and wonderful. Saturday's was from the box game and Sunday mm -hmm. she just came to the party knowing she wanted to book a party. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, but I love Debbie's idea about the little springboard um, that Randy just mm -hmm. showed. I'm going to put that up and. Sure have that i sure. i never even thought of that so mm -hmm. that's that's a cute little idea okay. well, that, and something under behind each date well that mm -hmm. controls your calendar it does and i like that though because i don't like to do sunday parties but i i did it as a favor because she's an administrator at one of our schools and um saturday she teaches um religious instructions to um one of our churches here so sundays is our only really free day so i did it as a favor i thought of you debbie like you don't do sundays and i thought well i'll, I'll do it but i really like to take a little more control of my calendar i think and that would help me do it i think debbie is to take a little more control i don't do fridays friday now, do you have do you have trouble getting them to book right then and there at that night or For me? anybody? That's my, that's my problem is trying to get them to Sometimes. make a date right then nope. and there without. Nope. I usually will tell them that um, you have to like, when I do my box game, you have to give me a date within the next month. And some of them will say to me, well, oh, I got a wedding going on or something. Can I do it in April? And I'll say, well, then you got to give me a date in April. Mm -hmm. You date. have to give me a date. I'll let them right. go to the next month if they actually have something really big going on. But when I do my box game, they have to do it the next month. And I let them know that before we even play pass or play. That it, this is, you have to book your party next month. <clears throat> so 
And if somebody really tells me that, you know, next month is really bad for me, I, you know, I got so-and-so going on at graduation, whatever it might be, then I say, you have to give me a date in the following month. Okay. Yeah, and they usually do. Mm -hmm. Because I give them out their package that night of the party. I give them their book, their hostess order form, their customer order forms, explain to everything to them. And they're excited because they want to start, you know, getting their orders right then and there. Because they'll say to me, well, can I get their orders? Can I start right now? And I'm like, absolutely. I said, I'm going to go home. I'm going to set you up your, your link. I will send it to you. So even your outside people can hook on. That's such an interesting point. You know, Kathy, I, I struggle with it sometimes too, but the way, the way Kathy Allman just said it, you know, let's get your date figured out right now so that I can, I can get it set up for you and you can start telling your friends about it tomorrow and get, start getting orders. Yeah. So they see the, I hadn't even thought about it that way ever, but like the, you, the, here's the benefit. Yeah, here's the benefit yeah. that because yeah. you've got your okay. Facebook already. You can start inviting your peers right here to your Facebook. Here's your outside link because a lot of them have, you know, people that, you know, live outside of town today um, and they can start getting their orders right then and there. Right. And they like that because some people will say, well, I need this right off or I got, I want this for my birthday or I want this for whatever it may be. Sure. Yeah. And I'll say, that, okay, you can get it and you get credit for it. I have a lady right now that she's redoing her whole kitchen, but her sister placed an order this last month for those ice bracelets. She's not booking and we're in February. She's not having her party until March, mm -hmm. but she wanted those ice bracelets in January. She's got her date book, but I've already got her Facebook page up and she's got already almost $300 in sales. Nice. So, I mean... I'm okay with that, you know, mm -hmm. to keep it up there for two months. I don't care. She can get her outside orders. Mm -hmm. So I usually will come right home and, you know, maybe if I got something going on or it's a late night party, I'll say to them that it'll be tomorrow morning before I get it going or something. But mm -hmm. I like to get it going right off for them. So they have that advantage. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, one of the things that I love to do when I'm in a live party, I can't replicate this with Zooms, but in a live party, um, when they come in, I do tickets and I offer them a ticket for each piece of jewelry they try on. So by the time I'm do, I do my presentation, they've already got a long wish list. They already know what they love and they've already been uh, figuring out, you know, for each other what they should be buying. Um, and I, and I, it gives me an opportunity to see who really are the, the suspects for, for, for a party, because it's the ones that are just trying on everything. They're the first ones I'm going to go after. See, I've never done that. And I should maybe start doing it's that. It's so much fun. It is okay. really fun. And then what's great is I can do the five questions, um, the, um, ask me portion about the business and so at the end I'll have five tickets in my hand and I'll say I have five more tickets to give out before I do the drawing so in 90 seconds or less because I don't want it to go on yeah um, I will say I'm gonna I'm gonna bribe you to ask me questions about my business, business yeah. and so you can ask me something like and I'll give them three examples so that they understand what I'm talking about how much um, you can ask me how much does it cost to do this business uh, you can ask me how much money we make. You can ask me where we go on incentive trips. Who wants to go first? I'm giving away five more tickets. We only yeah. have 90 seconds. Go. And, you know, and that's how I give away the final five. And then I do my drawing for maybe free shipping for a person or something like that. But doing using the springboard of trying on the jewelry in the beginning is a great icebreaker for each other and for the jewelry. Um, okay. And then it, it it more easily ties into them asking me questions and me giving them tickets. It's not like out of the blue. So you give them tickets, have them try on the jewelry, put their name on the back of those tickets. Actually, it's a little easier than that. Um, I have the. Okay. I'm a little confused. Have, they're in my bag. I have the the double sided, so I'm gonna like. Pull oh, up okay, okay, and like okay. That. Part, okay, thanks. Like that. That. Okay. Mm, yeah. So th they don't have to write their names on anything. Okay. I'm okay. Just holding on to their tickets. Long. And then when I draw the name and so I, then you put like 
just have that okay so then you give them a ticket for how and much then I, have, I just put them all in a little pile I, I i rip them up and i put them in a little pile i actually do something really funny um again i'm always trying to make it fun and interactive and so when i do my drawing this is just a little aside but again if if they're having fun and they're laughing they're going to want me to come to their house so um uh, i tell them you know what i used to do youth ministry and so I have to make drawings really fun and funny. So here's what we do when I do a drawing. You have to say, whoop, if you have that number. So if, if I read a number out and it's on your ticket in order, you have to say, whoop. So I say eight and I'll go, whoop, three. And then I'll say, whoop, seven. And then I'll say, whoop. And then when I start getting down to the lower numbers, like who has fewer, like, okay, the fifth number is a two and only three of them are going, whoop. And it gets, it's getting quiet and they're all like, Who's going to say whoop next? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But they always, they, they get into it. It's really cute. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those silly little things. They're like, we're really saying whoop to this little game, you know, but, but so when you, I, um, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Kathy. Um, go ahead. I'm just having, I'm having trouble thinking of when you give the tickets, are you giving them, are you following them around, giving them a ticket when you see them? Or are they mo actually modeling it with everybody? Um, so it's, it's very dynamic and I just keep saying, remember to tell me how many tickets you need. Oh, okay. How many so have you tried on? So, okay. you know, and I'll just keep, pe so Kathy, how many how, did you just try on? Was that three or four? That was four. Okay. Let me give you four. Um, Mary, how many more for you? Oh, just two more so far. Okay. Here's, and so it's not all like all at once. I'm kind of giving okay. them out piecemeal. Or if I forget about somebody for a while, she's like, I already got 10. Give me 10. Because she's yeah. way down at the corner, right? All right. Yeah, so you're just they asking kind of, them. They right. catch on. And I just keep asking them. It's just a part of the fun. Mm -hmm. okay. Then afterwards, after you do the um, the um, um, who asked questions, you know, for the, our, our business, mm -hmm. then you draw um, out of that and give them away, give away something. Give away free shipping to want to that free one shipping. person who won. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. where I wanted to see where, because I never done that. That's, that's a cute little game to play. What's great about it is that it creates the wish list, and yeah. they are now in love with the jewelry. They have, they now know how much more they wanted than they would have ever thought. Um, and it makes it, so here's the thing. It's not like they're beating down my door book in a party. I still have to do it, but now I've got really fertile soil, really yeah. fertile. Right. And I have get, I can get a great harvest because I planted so many fun seeds with them, especially in trying on the jewelry. Yeah, and you've kind of so gotten them me, it into really the well. party. Pardon me? Oh, you've gotten the, everybody into the party. Very um, into it. Yeah. 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 That's cool. Do you tell them what the reward is before um, they? I don't actually. Um, not until it's time for the drawing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then when it is, in fact, so what, I, what I'll say is, hey, everybody. Um, so glad you guys are here. This says they're starting to come in and they're getting their drinks, they're getting their food. Hey, by the way, for the next 10 minutes or so, for each piece of jewelry you try on, I'm going to give you a ticket and I'm holding up my tickets. So wait, Kathy, how many did you just try on? You just put on two. So you're the first one. I'm going to give you two tickets. And then others are kind of like, oh, is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to try it on. Yeah, try it on. Let me give you a ticket. And there'll be a prize. And then I'll, I'll kind of randomly say there'll be a prize at the end. Right. It'd be a prize okay. at the end. There's a prize at the end. end. Okay. There's a prize at the end. Yeah. You know, we don't have to be specific about things in order to be effective when it comes to things like that. We can just be very, you know, relaxed about it. And they're going to get the point that there's a prize at the end. Okay. They don't have to know what the prize. Women are funny. They don't need to know what the prize is. Rarely does anybody yeah, ask. It's fun. Yeah. They're like, oh, there's a prize at the end. Oh, you better try these on. There's a prize at the end. <laughs> Cute. I like that. It's really great. And it is really helping me book parties. So for me, I don't do box the box game. People who do the box game well get great benefits from it and will consistently book. I've never personally been ever been ever been able to pull it off. So I've come up with other ways of of making it fun and interactive and driving that wish list. And then I scoop them up and I ask them. Hey, when are you going to do your own party? We've got to do this together. That'd be so much fun. Yeah. I don't, I don't do the book game because people always make me so guilty. <laughs> they always go like, even, uh, though you tell, even though you tell them, you know, it's a pass or play and, they go uh, right. and, play, and then they go, Oh, yay, Betsy, you won. And they go, right. Oh, so 
So do I have to do this? Um, <laughs> well, you decided to play. Yeah. You know, that's but so I, I don't, I don't like that. And then I had a lady one time tell me, she says, well, I just think that's being very forceful. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't have to, if you don't want to, you don't have to book a party. I'm, I, you know, so I just, I, don't Sorry, party it. pooper. <laughs> no, I don't do it. I just go. I haven't ran um, into that yet, but if oh, I, I, I've tried it three times, and three times I've run into something. And I, yeah. Or they give you that. Really. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, sorry, you know. So I, I just don't do it. I, it doesn't matter how you get your parties booked. It, everyone is going to figure out what works for them personally, just for your personality and your own style. And that's all that matters. That's why we're going through a long list of, of things that we can do that we know will get us forward and, and just and give us better results as opposed to no. doing nothing. Right. And on occasion, we're going to, you know, even a blind squirrel can find an acorn now and then. Right. We could book a party even if we do absolutely nothing. Yeah. But let's up our chances because let's face it, it's not fun to sit there at the kitchen table and go, I have no parties. It's a whole lot more fun to look at my calendar and go, I booked two parties from that one. I booked three parties from that one because I had simple systems that I put into place intentionally that I know are going to work for me. And, and that's the goal. Was there any last, out. any one last idea that we haven't really covered? Yeah, I have one. Okay. okay. I've got a whole long list of different ideas. Um, when you have a small party, let's say, mm -hmm. I mean, we, I mean, I always want to have at least 10 to 12 people there, but, that, but that's just me. Yeah. Um, but let's just say for some unknown reason, you only have four or five people. Mm -hmm. That's, that's something that you could give them one-on-one. -on -one, you can talk to them. You can do all that. And usually what I tell them is, um, make sure that during my presentation, you do have the catalog. I want you to write down your wish list. I don't give them an order form. I'll let them write down their wish list. So when they're coming to the checkout, I go, let me see your wish list. So I'm looking at it and I'm going, okay, so now on this wish list, what is it that you cannot live without tonight? So we mark it. So while they are filling out the order form, I said, would you please fill out the order form? So while they're filling out the order form, I'm looking at the things that they're not going to order that night. They're not going to, you know, and I, you know, some, we don't know our prices, but we can, we've been around enough to know and we can kind of judge it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I might say like, Jill, your wish list is phenomenal. Oh my goodness. You've got so many beautiful things and you're buying these three and you have these eight things left. What would you do if I told you that if you booked a party, you can get all these three? Because while you were filling that up, I tallied this up. This all comes to like $300. That's a six hundred dollar party, and that's a double hostess right there. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're going to get some half price items, and if you book, apparently our hostess thinks you are phenomenal and she loves you, so you're here. So, how about if we give her a gift of seventy percent off when you book a party? Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm not saying you're going to sit there and you're going to go through the book and go, oh, "Well, that's thirty nine. That's fine." We 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 kind of have an idea. Yeah of what mm -hmm. it is Eyeball. and you could just tally it up while okay. she's filling it all out and you can say this is how much all of this would be this would be a 600 dollars party mm -hmm. okay well how would you feel if i could if you did that we booked you did that you got all this free how would you feel would that make you excited would it make right. you feel beautiful? so again or that's it's feel? using that wish list however you can get yes. them to create yes. it yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know at a big party, it's kind of, it's hard to do that because you'd be there until the cows come home. Okay. <laughs> but with a, with a smaller party, you can do that. Mm -hmm. You could do that with yeah. a small party. If you mm -hmm. have four or five people there, you can do that. And, and it, and it works and you can walk away with two parties, maybe yeah. three and maybe all of them will, who right. knows? But I mean, it's just, I'm a visual person. I'm a visual mm -hmm. person. I have to visually see it. Okay, so when somebody is showing me like, hey, Debbie, look, you have these pieces right here. And with a party, you can have that. And I'm looking at them and going, damn, I can do it. Sure, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what you want to do. So you've got so many different, different things that you can do for all your parties. Mm -hmm. You've got to choose what, what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And above all, go in that party with confidence that you are not going to leave until you have two parties booked. Mm -hmm. Right. You're going to do it. Have it up here. 
The one last thing I was just thinking about, as you said that, Debbie, is that sometimes, so what happens when we walk away and we haven't gotten the two, the next day, what, what I'm learning is that um, people will often say no in the moment. And by the next morning, they're actually reevaluating their answer. And if I'm catching up with them and sending that, thank you, it's great to meet you. Uh, I can't wait to hear what you think about your new goodies. By the way, I sure hope you're thinking about doing your own party sometime later this month and getting her to revisit, the, even if she already said no, um, because sometimes that will completely change the, in fact, I'm in the middle of that right now. I had one person say yes at a party um, two weeks ago. We're still trying to get a date, but we're almost there. There was uh, one other who said it may be on her order form and I didn't catch it. And so now I'm actually talking to her about the business and hopefully, uh, or, or hopefully a party. But now my hostess has said that there's a third person who might want a party. And that's going to come through following up with her on, I've already followed up with her once, didn't know she was interested, didn't offer, right? And now I'm going to go back and check with another, her jewelry has arrived. And now I'm going to offer that party to her and to all the others as well. So it's, it's, it's dynamic, even in the two, the 10 days after the party that you can still go back through and, and scoop them back up again, even if you didn't get them the night of the party. Oh, my God. Yes, Kathy. I'm um I'm also all for sending them home with the catalog, all the mm, guests. Oh yeah. Mm. Because sometimes they're looking so quickly mm -hmm. and they just want to get one or two things that mm -hmm. when they really look at it the next day, they're like, oh my gosh, I should have gotten this, I should have gotten that. So, That's so smart. So smart. Yes. I always love that because they're very hesitant to take one. Um, I it it is a great idea to say, be sure you take your catalog with you. To everyone, mm -hmm. you said like to, even to people that are not um, wanting to book. I mean, I, yes. I mean, I would. I'm um, okay. that's because just I point. think that I think that they'll look at it the next day, especially if they're not familiar with okay. Touchstone. If they're familiar, you know, they already know the jewelry. But if they're not familiar, they don't want to make a hasty decision that night. So okay. they might look at it the next day and go, "Oh my gosh, look at this! I should have gotten it." And then you can touch base with them later and say, you know, do you see anything else and have a party? I, I do that too, but one of the things that I do is I make sure that they fill out their order form at the, up at the top hmm. so that I have their information so that I can call them and text them. And then I give them the catalog and say, hey, this is my, this is my gift to you for coming here tonight and listening and looking at the jewelry. Please go home, enjoy sitting down and looking at it and if you change your mind with anything, please don't hesitate to call me. And my information's already on the catalog, mm -hmm. you know, right. because there's a lot of people that go, oh, I can't, I can't do it right now. I, I got to go home and work. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. Could you give me, could you please fill out the top of the order form? That way you've got their information. Because mm -hmm. a lot okay. of people will do that with no intentions of ordering sometimes. But when you call them the next day and you let them know, I'm going to call you sometime tomorrow. A lot of times they've changed their mind once they once they've gone through it. You have time to think about it. I wish I, I was this good. I wish I was so good at sponsoring as what I am with booking parties. <laughs> you just wait. You just wait. God. You will be. Yes, you will. You will. Oh, you I will. wish I could get somebody that would want to. You will. You will. You will. Don't say it that way. Say um, I can't wait till I find them. I can't wait till I find them. Um, as far as the catalogs go, you know, so rarely do people have actual catalogs in their hands for anything. And, um, you know, that really is kind of a special thing because every, so much is done online these days, but I love having a physical catalog of things yep. that maybe just- Oh, I agree. I agree. I mean, I've already- these days. Yeah, so sending it home with people, I think is, is, it's our storefront. To me, that my catalog is my storefront that's now in your house, mm -hmm. right? And that, that makes me feel really good, like, ooh, I have a better chance of getting her attention if my catalog is sitting in her house. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've already ordered like 48 of them and mm -hmm. I've got to order more. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. But I, I never I thought about giving them to everybody. I'm like, I always, you know, send them home to the ones that are booking the party. Sure. And I and to the ones that will ask me. Like I had a mm -hmm. list of people when um the new catalog came out that wanted them. So I sent them all out to everybody. I mean, yeah. well. I never thought to. Of course, it depends that. on how many parties you're having. You don't want to spend fifty bucks a party, <laughs> or fifty really bucks a point. month on. Right. It's but, true. Yeah. Right All now, right, ladies. Well, we could go on. 
I'm sorry, Kathy, go ahead. No, never mind. <laughs> but we could go on forever and ever talking about this, but I hope this was helpful. And I think the key helpful. is to pick the things we can't do all of them easily and well, right? But pick the key things, pick several that you know will work for you that you can do systematically so that you can up your chances of getting these parties booked. And you'll know by going down that list, which ones you love, like do the ones that you love, institute them for the next couple of parties and see how that works. And then if it doesn't work, go back and add something else to the mix and see if, how that helps. Okay. All right. This was really fun. Great ideas. Really fun. Thank really you everyone. everyone. All right, ladies, have a great day. Thank you. Love Bye. You. Bye. 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 Bye.